during the lockdown, most especially um, the very first few ones, of course, it was very difficult for all of us, um, for both humans and our pets. But um, at first, I was okay with the idea because, you know, what more would I like than to spend 24-7 with my pets at home, right? And of course, I would like to believe that they're also equally just as happy as I was. But then eventually, of course, it took it, uh, its toll on all of us. Most especially when I had to return to work. And unfortunately, the pandemic has caused the, uh, the TV industry or the entertainment industry to um, go on uh, lock-in tapings. Uh, which means we have to go away for work and stay at the location um, for a month or even over a month. Um, of course, I knew why I had to do that. I perfectly understood and I was fine with the idea for everyone's safety. But my, um, my pets, unfortunately, could not understand. So, uh, at first, you know, there would be uh, normal struggles like not having to walk them or bring them out on a daily basis, um, which they didn't understand, you know, why it had to be that way. But, um, you know, because exercise, walking, and bringing your dogs out in public is part of their, um, their growth, their overall well being. And, um, but that was fine, you know, that was fine. We made do by just playing at home. Then comes lock-in taping. Um, I struggled with um, separation anxiety and I could just imagine how even more difficult it was for my pets. Because it is true that um, pets have separation anxiety, unfortunately. I would be at our um, uh, lock-in hotel. I would cry every day because I miss my dogs. I would cry every day because I, you know, I had gotten used to being with them 24-7 at home. And most of all, um, I worried about them. I worried because I knew they wouldn't understand why I had to be away, where I was, why I suddenly had to leave, how long I, was I going to be away for, and everything else. But as soon as I got back home, you know, happiness, pure bliss, pure joy. But then I have noticed definitely throughout the past two years that they have been even more clingy. They follow me around even in the bathroom. They don't like it when they see me getting dressed or putting my face mask on because automatically they think, you know, I'm, I'm going to be leaving them, leaving them again for a long period of time. Um, it saddens me that um, in a way um, they've been traumatized in a way from me um, working. Um, but yeah, um, small ways to adjust. I'd, um, you know, video call with them through, through somebody else who was left at home with them. Um, whether it's my kasambahay or my family, I'd, um, you know, record videos of myself just so I can speak to them. Um, and uh, I also like leaving behind pajamas or used clothes that I obviously used at home just so they have something physical to cling to and you know my, my clothes still had my smell so um, yeah as much as I have um, time to spend time with them at home in between lock-in tapings I play with them a lot they sleep on the bed with me they stay in my room pretty much all day long um, I take them out for walks as often as I can and yeah, just making use of the time in between work schedules to really, you know, catch up on all the um, love and affection. So uh, after a year into the pandemic, I was gifted a new puppy. Although the puppy adjusted right away, it was difficult um, when he turned into an adult already, which was just recently. And um, yeah, uh, he experienced his first uh, mommy goes on lock-in taping and uh, it um, took a toll on him, my puppy, um, the most. So he's the one that has been the clingiest and he's the one who's, um, who really literally cries every time I leave the house. Um, but yeah, ultimately, you know, I'm always like the type na as long as you have time with them, you know, if you have to spoil them, spoil them, but um, give, them, give them extra attention and extra care 
so that um, yeah hopefully that's what they uh, always remember whenever I'm away hi everyone and hello to all the pet owners this is Maureen Robowitz and just to share some things I have three cats and two dogs and they have been eating royal canine for the longest time so I'm glad that they were able to stick to that because I have moved homes last year and that definitely affected my cats uh, and for for like at least a few, ye few weeks they were still getting used to my new home and adjustments like that they really take a toll on our pets and that's why it is so important to kind of stick to one routine and I did that with their food so that at least they can feel comfortable and you just have to really try your best to always make your pets feel like they're at home and to let them feel comfortable wherever they are and yeah I just wanted to share that with you and to all the new pet owners I just want to say you're doing a good job it can seem really hard at first but yeah you're you're doing well and yeah we we really do anything for our um, our babies hi guys I'm Eliza and this is Louie boy uh, so in the past two years, mas napansin ko na mas naging clingy sila. Lalo na na-notice ko pag nag-bubble training kami. Lagi akong wala for months. So, minsan nang hirap kasi na kumain or matulog. Tapos pag uwi ko, they would just follow me wherever. And, uh, gusto gusto nila mag-bonding or spend time with me. So, hope you guys enjoy your company with your pets as well. So, bye guys! Hi guys, this is Kiefer Vena, proud dog owner of Blake, Louie, and Rocky. Uh, for the past two years, I was able to observe my dogs and I'm very happy with how they are and how uh, energetic they are. Uh, and during the start of the pandemic, it was actually different uh, as we were all together in the house and I was seeing their different characteristics. Uh, every time I would step out and uh, outside of the house and do some errands, I would be gone for two or three hours. Uh, every time I go back home, they will be really, really, really excited uh, just because we're used to being together uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, and it was really fun. Uh, they gave us a lot of energy and they took out a lot of boredom inside the house. And you know, I'm very fortunate that I have Louis, Blake, and Rocky uh, on my side. And until now, they still continue to be the, the cute, energetic ones that I've always uh, imagine them to be. Hi, I'm Gretchen Felido and I'm so so happy to be with you today. This is Simba and this is Party and we'll be sharing with you what happened in the last two years. One thing I taught them during the pandemic is to be quiet when mommy's working at home. And I'm so thankful that they're very obedient and they don't bug me because <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. It also takes training for them to develop that kind of calmness and that they know that you're just there and you're not going to leave them. <laughs> so Simba was born during the pandemic. He was born April 2020, pandemic baby. And Khaleesi's babies were born um, 2021. But since I went back to scuba diving also in those two years, I would bring Simba with me and party and they would stay in the boat in the resort I'm staying at. And that really developed the social skills of Simba. So he's not afraid of people. He's very friendly. He's very sociable. And I did that weekly and we would go walking and I would bring him to the mall. That's why I really, really am so thankful that we have pet-friendly establishments and I hope that we would have more because that also encourages socializations with other dogs and the owners also. And it's good for them and it's good for us. We make new friends and they also make new friends, but it's also so important that they have their vaccination and shots to keep them safe also. Um, in regards to routines, um, even with Royal Canon, you know, I saw how much of priority health is 
So <laughs> we've been focusing on a little weight loss because he gained so much weight, uh, as did I uh, during COVID. And also just cleanliness, you know, taking really good care of his teeth, his ears, his skin. He has white fur, making sure, making sure that's good. Uh, my favorite way to bond with Rudy is probably our daily walks. Uh, we walk a lot around the neighborhood because we're blessed enough to walk around. And also Netflix and HBO Go have been coming out with a lot of good movies. So me and Rudy have been going on our Netflix TV show binges a lot. <laughs>